Good. Hey, everybody. We're back here with the star of Judy, Renee Zellweger. Um, for, for lack of a better word, there's a lot of Oscar buzz about this performance. People are saying it's a, it's a tremendous uh, star turn by you, and that means a lot of fancy parties in your future. Mm -hmm. I was just out at the Emmys, and I, even I get a little star struck sometimes when I meet, you know, people that I admire. Do you? Who? Yeah. Like who? Uh, Taika Waititi. <laughs> <laughs> The, the the New Zealand director. I think he's super cool. I imagine. I imagine you do. Yeah. I bet there's another director who works in New Zealand who excites you a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Maybe. If, yeah, I'm a, a big token. fan of, I'm a big fan of you know <laughs> Peter Jackson. Now, um <laughs> Do you ever get starstruck? Like when you have you ever been someplace and like I can't believe I'm about to meet this person? Uh. Oh, gosh, y'all. I had a humiliating melt. It was really bad. It was very embarrassing. Who did you, who did you freak You'd out You'd be embarrassed on? for me if I share this story with you. Please, please. Oh. I would love to be embarrassed for you. Guys you guys want to be embarrassed for me? Uh, okay. All right. And I'm going to make a confession here now, too. I have a bit of a soft spot for, uh, for Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yes. And it's not just the baby blues, you know. Yes. It's a man He's got those piercing of, blue eyes, yeah. He does. Mm -hmm. He does. He's a handsome man. <clears throat> he's a southern man. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a, very mature. He has that too. Yes. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> yes. But, uh, you know, he's a great scholar. He's, he's a man of great scholarship and great character who's a poet. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a man of faith who practices, mm -hmm. but he doesn't use his religion as a tool of divisiveness, but as a beacon for, you know, I don't know, to inspire humanity towards what any loving God would want, mm -hmm. um, world peace. And he's the Navy boy. I mean, what's not to like? Yeah. You know? Sure. And he's in his 90s, right? There is, still there is sharp. something about a man in his 90s, yeah. Still sharp. <laughs> Brain cancer, he's still sharp, exactly. funny. He's tough as hell. I'm like telling that. you, there's all that, and he's in love with his wife. You know? I mean, so. right? Okay, so I had an opportunity because he, he wrote this beautiful book of poetry, and I was going to go down there, and I was going to get a copy of it, and I read in the paper that he was going to be in Times Square at the Barnes & Nobles. So I went, and I thought I had gone early, but apparently four and a half hours <laughs> ahead of a Jimmy Carter book signing is not early enough. So I think we shot south about two blocks, which is a substantial uh, uh, bit of geography, yeah, yeah, right? Sure. Uh, and then east, another two blocks, which is even more of a yeah, schlep, right? Sure. So we waited in what became the snow for about four and a half hours, and I was just thinking about how much I adore him and the things I want to say to him, you know, about his big speech on temperance. Yes. You know, when he was telling us about the crisis, uh, you know, the answer to the oil shortage is that we must consume less, mm -hmm. and we have to think about what we we need versus, and everyone went, wow, boo. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I was just thinking about all the things I would like to say to him and express my appreciation. And so we waited in the line, and that was four and a half hours of frostbite. And then you go inside the book, bookstore. I don't know, has anybody been to a book signing, at, right? Sure, and you yeah. line the walls yeah, yeah. downstairs, yeah. and then you're in a line going up the stairs, and then you line the walls upstairs, and then you finally approach you know, by your next birthday, you're approaching the signing table, and it's a quick process. The one has the book, she passes it to the next, who has the pen, and then they pass it on to the next person yes. who passes it to the president, and you get shuffled along, and then you find yourself standing there in front of the baby blues, and uh, this man who has uh, inspired you to a different level of thoughtfulness, and uh, he held the book and the pen in his hand, and I was really ready, because here it comes, I'm gonna have my thing that I say to Jimmy Carter. And he looked up at me, and he said, hello. And, um, and I said, um, hey. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank Renee, you. thank you so much for being here. No, it's nice to meet Lovely you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Judy is in theaters this weekend. Renee Zellweger, everybody. <laughs>